We drove to Atlanta. It took about nine hours. Then we went to the airport. We get some news. <laughs> yes, we find out that the pilot of our flight had gotten ill and he was not going to be cleared to fly again until four in the morning. Yeah, so <clears throat> that means we have another eight, hour, eight hours or more waiting. We stayed in the club and slept and read and we did that until four o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Three o'clock in the morning. Yeah, I think about two forty five they loaded everyone up and we headed to the terminal that we yeah. were going to We get to the to the gate and there's tons of people. Grumpy families, old people in wheelchairs, and lots and lots of teenagers. Yeah. About the time we get there, it happened. <laughs> Lights are flashing. British Airways is staging the Harriet Blue. British Airways is also staging Hectory, Little Chimney, There is an emergency in the building. Please stand by for more information. And there's this huge moan from everybody going, no, what now? So, anyway, that went on. And we finally got on the plane, and and that was... No it. idea what the emergency was. Yeah, never did find out. It was, it was the most sci-fi experience I think I've had on, on an airplane. We were, so, we were so happy to be there and so exhausted. Called house ads. The Romans called it Ferovicium, I think. The Andes on either side, nonetheless. Aside from that, this was the northern frontier. Anyway, this charming man who, with a stutter, was giving us the tour. The, uh, I said earlier that, um, that the water will cut through the, the territory of the Brigandi, so that it was a Roman fort there on the wall. The Roman Empire. Um, and so, you know, it's, it's really protecting the Empire from everything from the north. A pretty interesting place. I think there were 800 soldiers stationed there, plus a, a small village that sprung up outside. stream down over where the trees are down the valley but also they collect rainwater off, off roofs uh, into tanks sort of like this one here. Well, it would obviously be a bit warmer than a, than a, than a bit of stone. And of course the, the other thing is uh, although the, the filming everything is, is very state of the art and everything inside the fort, of course all of this would just wash out uh, through a hole in the wall into the heat. So they obviously didn't Mm -hmm. you know, although they cared for themselves, they weren't, they weren't too fussed about, about, about the, the poor people in, in the Vegas. Um, so as, as I say, the, this is, uh, the other thing to point out, I said earlier that there were about 800 soldiers stationed here. 
all 800 people use this one building, so it would have been a very busy place as well. We wandered around Hexham. Yeah, the little town of Hexham is closing up for the evening. The sign says, Old Jail Hexham, welcoming guest for over 600 years. Hey. Hey, Brian, come stick your head in this. <laughs> oh, yeah. You've been very bad. We, we got there about 4.30, 5 o'clock, and I think everything started shutting down about the time we were rambling through the streets. All right, that's the gatehouse. Let's not get run over. Yeah, let's not get run over. There's school groups. They've been all around.